Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John this is many a true and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, where things are interesting. Things are interesting in the world, and precarious, very precarious, because sure we've got this empire thing, but it turns out, yeah, it's quite hard to make everyone vote the same bloody way, everyone's voting different directions, we're gonna flipping lose Brittany and Ireland and bloody hell Cornwall at the minute because oh bloody hell. Yeah, I think we need to sort out a bit of a succession crisis right now. Because right now everything's going in flipping different directions and that's no good at flipping all. Before we do that though, I would like to pay a little bit of attention to the Holy Roman Empire because... Uh, I've noticed something very, very interesting there. So, remember how the Holy Roman Empire basically ate France by virtue of the fact that yeah, I think it was the... The French king was the heir to the... I forget how it worked. Anyway, yeah, the Holy Roman Emperor was also the king of France. So, um, if we go over and have a little look-see at the Holy Roman Emperor now, he's not the king of France. So I thought, brilliant, whoever is the king of France did, like, you know, split off due to different succession laws when the old Holy Roman Emperor died under suspicious circumstances. That guy is sure to be way more powerful than the actual Holy Roman Emperor. So as a result, you know, they'll break away soon. So I went to try and find the King of France. And there is no King of France. Here we go, Kingdom of France. Currently there is no holder. So someone's destroyed it at some point or it just lapsed somehow because no one had the right to have it or something. And yeah, the option to flipping create it is there. So... I'm not sure what's happened to France exactly, but for the time being, there is no flipping France. Meaning, if we break down the Holy Roman Empire, yeah, it's, um, it's a bit of an interesting situation over there right now. Because the actual Kaiser, he's only actually got, yeah, one personal bit of land. He's got a county flipping somewhere, and all the rest of his land is divided up into... Yeah, he's got the King of Bohemia, Bohemian Revolt, then it's just, yeah, it's Dukes all the way down, actually. But yeah, Bohemia is big. Very, very big. Very, very powerful. In fact, Bohemia's got way more land as well. Bohemia's got land over here, land up here. Okay, just out of interest, the Kingdom of Bohemia, De Jure, what's that... Oh, bloody hell. Is that all Bohemia is supposed to hold? Right. So there is a very, very powerful king of Bohemia <laughs> right now. Gotcha. Fascinating. And interestingly, though there's no king of France, the Duchess of Normandy, yeah, apparently is doing pretty well for herself. She's got various bits of land dotted around France, as well as just like the De Jure Duchy of Normandy itself. What's that, though? That's presumably... Right, Gascoigne, whatever that is exactly. So, irritatingly, it's right next to Normandy and has the exact same colour, which is not flipping helpful, but is totally different. And just for the time being, yeah, the King of Bohemia is actually willing to stay backing the Holy Roman Emperor. But if he were to join the revolt, or just revolt himself, he'd probably do very, very well, all things considered. Because, yeah, he can call up 10,000 troops... Holy Roman Emperor can call up... He's only got a thousand of his own, then another three thousand in the form of retinues. But yeah, other than that, he's really dependent on his vassals. And I'm going to guess Bohemia is a very large part of that. Unfortunately, he's unlikely to be a troublemaker because he is content. So yeah, his opinion is actually very high right now. He's got a council position. Liege is kind. They're both charitable, content, prestige, personal diplomacy. Yeah. For the time being, these two guys really like each other. But, if the next king of Bohemia were to be someone who was a little bit more of a dick, say, someone who, yes, was ambitious rather than content, and was also a great military leader, oh yes. Now this, this I could very much see as something that could work out for me. Because if Bohemia gets ideas above its station and throws their lot in with the rebels or starts a new rebellion, oh yes, that's just the thing I'd like to see. That'd tear the Holy Roman Empire apart. I mean, at the bare minimum, an independent Bohemia would be quite a significant power on its own. That would be a huge chunk out of the Holy Roman Empire right there. Still, at least England is looking how I'd like it to at this point. There is actually a Duke of Wessex, and he is separate from the Duke of York. So that 
That is excellently good news. That is very, very good news indeed. I'd say Ireland is uh, nicely balanced, all things considered. Mercy is back. Witcher's looking okay. What's that, by the way? Who do you technically... Ah, you report directly into the king. Got it. You're not actually uh, part of a, uh, a wider duchy. All right, then. Yeah, this all works for me. England looks like it is uh, under control. My empire's fine, but... Yeah, the succession crisis. We need to sort that out. Who's going to be the next flipping emperor? Because you see, we've got a bit of a problem here, which is... When I said I wanted everyone under Tanistry to have a vote for the next emperor, what I really mean is... Uh, Ireland basically gets to decide it because uh, there's precisely one vote coming from Brittany because the king... Wait, hang on. Is the king and duchess the same person right now? No, the... Wait. Who is the king of Brittany? Am I the king of Brittany? Yes, I'm totally the king of Brittany. Fine. But logically, yes, the duke of Brittany and the king of Brittany would be the same person. So that's not a big deal, all things considered. Also, oh, hang on. Do you work for... How long have you worked for her? I don't remember you working for her. Blimey, she is good as a shadow. She just basically stole that county out from under me. But yeah, basically for the minute, Brittany gets one vote. And because I own pretty much all of Wales and Cornwall, I get one vote as well. Ireland, meanwhile, gets one, two, three, four. Yeah, they get like four different votes. So pretty much the Irish get to decide who the next emperor is. So that's a bit of a problem. And I have been thinking about how I could theoretically fix that. The way I'd need to theoretically fix that would be allowing more people to vote. But that's going to require a little bit of work. You see, if I wanted to convert the Empire of Cornwall into the Empire of Britannia and then just rename it the Empire of Cornwall, I'd need to destroy the Empire of Cornwall so Britannia's de jure claim goes back over everything. Then I can create the Empire. But, if I destroy Cornwall, that means that any kings who aren't me will refuse to serve and go independent because a king can't work for another king. So, I'm going to need to actually gather every single king title under one ruler in order to actually break down the Empire of Cornwall and then go and set up the Empire of Britannia. And that's going to be a bit tricky because everyone keeps bloody voting in different directions. So yeah, for the minute, the best that I can do is continuing to vote for Falaman for everything. Because Falaman for everything will inherit literally everything but the Kingdom of Brittany. And if we were to lose Brittany, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It's not that big. We could go and get it back later. It would be absolutely fine. You know, they're culturally very similar to me. We might be able to just revassalize them down the line. Also, would you please stop changing your name to whatever your name is? Keep it as England. You're fine. You can be England. I don't mind. There we go. With two votes, Falamon is back to inheriting everything with the exception of Brittany, which would be fine. I mean, he's not exactly spectacular, but... He'll do, I guess. Also, more fighting in Munster, because when is there not bloody fighting in Munster? Dear, oh bloody dear. Oh, and perhaps unsurprisingly, England is once again just having a bit of a poke at Kent. That's fine. Bring them back into the fold. I don't have a problem with that in the slightest. Now, if in theory, the people of Kent were willing to just, jab yeah, swear submission to me, I might be willing to, uh, yeah, back them. Let's see what we've got here off of vassalization. Ah, he's not at peace. Fine, no problem at all. Also, apparently the King of England is just over in Meath trying to make Meath like me. When did I tell you to do that? Well, I tell you what, Chancellor, if you want to do something, right now the Duke of Leinster, yeah, kind of hates me, actually. Not very good, wants to be on the council, no, sorry. Only job you'd be good at is Spy Master, and I like having a good Spy Master who likes me an awful, awful lot. So you can just get on with trying to, yeah, just make that person like me. I just sent you into Mercy rather than Leinster, didn't I? Oh well, never mind, we'll fix that later. Here's a bit of an unusual one. So the Pope says that lovely hospital I've been upgrading, apparently the clergy have been involved, so he wants me to, like, pay them or something. So... 200 gold odd will get me 20 piety together with, uh, well, opinion of the Pope. He might just give me the money straight back. So go on then. Yes, I will pay that money. I've got that money. That's fine. 
How much does the Pope like me right now? Hang on. Religion. Pope. Not that much, all things considered. No, he would not actually give me money. But, oh yes, I could get that money plus a lot more back if he just continues liking me a bit more. Now, unsurprisingly, yes, the forces of England, now England's looking a little bit better than it once was, they can absolutely walk all over Kent. And as a result of that, yes, the English should be able to win that war. I think they just wanted Middlesex back, though. So, that's absolutely flipping fine. Who's this guy? He's the Earl of Middlesex... He doesn't possess anything else, so therefore he'll probably become a direct vassal of the King of England. Though at some point, the King of England will be able to start actually, yeah, taking some of those individual just one-off counties back and actually building up a personal domain, which will be lovely. And would you believe the Holy Roman Empire's business has sorted itself out nicely in favour of uh, the rebels? Yeah. So the rebels have won that one. The old Holy Roman Emperor has been reduced to uh, literally nothing. <laughs> He has got literally nothing there, but he does have... Ooh, this is interesting. So, Duchy of Burgundy, Duchy of Luxembourg, couple of counties, and a strong claim on the Holy Roman Empire that's inheritable, and he's not married. What happens to his wife? This is... This is of interest. You, my good man, I don't suppose I've got anyone I could marry you to. Ideally, matrilineally. No, he'd never go for it. But worth a go. No, he'll never go for it. Anyway, I've only got one daughter and she's already married. And she's actually 47. So past childbearing age. So no, there's no chance he'll go for that. So, the new emperor is not exactly great, all things considered. Yeah, gregarious, cynical, arbitrary, diligent is nice, and stressed. He's only 21, though. If he can avoid getting himself assassinated, and, well, it's the Holy Roman Empire, so easier said than done. Yeah, he could actually have a long reign ahead of him, but he's not very good. Not very good at all. Right now, though, the very important king of Bohemia does sort of like him, but part of that is opinion of predecessor, and, yeah, contentment again. As soon as that wears off and the new guy comes in, I think Bohemia could cause some trouble and that'd just be flipping lovely. Ah uh, yes, he's also culturally French and the son of the guy who originally managed to sort of accidentally perhaps unify France and the Holy Roman Empire. Okay, so you did have a pretty good claim, that's certainly true. Other than that though, yeah, you only actually hold two counties, a couple of duchies, and the Empire itself. So once again, the amount of troops you can personally field is very low. You're very dependent on your vassals. Oh, but here's fun. We've got a crusade for Jerusalem. Okay, now what's the situation with Jerusalem right now? Because uh, once again, I'm not convinced it's actually in the hands of the people you say it's in the hands of. No, nope, Byzantine Empire, once again, you're wrong. Now, the entire kingdom of Jerusalem is partly held by the people you actually want to go to war with. And right now, ooh. Right. Right now, there is no holder of the kingdom of Jerusalem. Which presumably means on this occasion, whoever actually goes and helps out the most, if we actually win, that person actually gets Jerusalem. I could actually just go and have Jerusalem. Okay. Well, on this occasion, I feel like I've probably got the manpower to contribute more than anyone else. That's certainly true. So, this guy, the Sword of Allah, he can actually field, uh, yeah, about 37,000. And he's not distracted by anything right now. This is literally the only war he's got on. But, one of the big princes of Italy just got involved. The Pope himself has... Uh, well, 7,000 troops. That Prince of Italy. Who's that guy? What's he got? Another 7,000 there. We've got ourselves, yeah, the Hockmeister is bringing in another 7,000. Not terrible. Not terrible, really. 7,000, 7,000, 7,000. So that's about 21,000. Add in my troops of about 20,000. We can outnumber these forces. We could win this and I could be the biggest single contributor. Ooh, that might be fun. Also, did the Byzantines take more of Italy? Because I swear they're owning more and more of Italy every time we look over there. Okay, I'm going to wait to see who joins first. I'm just going to keep an eye on this because uh, I'd like a few more people to jump in. That is King of Croatia. He's only bringing about... Oh, Scotland's in. 
Okay, he's bringing 8,000. A couple of Duchesses not bringing much. Savoy's bringing 3,000 there. You're bringing 9,000 from Sicily. All right, you know what? I think we're flipping in. We're going to do this. I'm going to offer to join your stupid war, your stupid crusade. Boom. And you're presumably going to be really happy about that, right? You're going to be really appreciative and nice to me. There go the Scots. Lovely. Good. Good, good, good. He's totally on board with me at this point. Up to 55. Now. Now could I request... Ooh, now I can request some money. I would like some money. Now, the reason for that is I might need that to pay for the boats. Um, so I'm going to be needing some of that business. And good. Okay. I'm probably going to make a loss when the boats are active. If I actually... Oh, hang on. I could go by land. How many of you guys are just going by land? Because if some of you are going by land, that's... A, oh, plenty of you are going by sea, though. I like having full visibility, because we're all part of the same crusade. That's cool. That's very, very cool. And all of the holy orders have already been called up. Absolutely fine. So nothing we can do there. All right, lads. It's time. Personal levies rise up and vassal levies too. All right, literally everybody. All right, I want everybody gathered together for this one, if you'd be so kind. So everyone just meet in Devon, apart from you two guys. We'll meet up in Leon. We'll pick you up right there. Now, what does that do to my monthly balance? Because I've been investing heavily in the economy the past couple of years. I think I should be able to actually afford this army without making a loss. But when we tick over to the next month, we'll be able to check that for certain. Okay, monthly balance of minus four, and uh-oh. Oh, who just voted what stupid way? What is going on now? Oh, it's because somebody's dead. Right, it's because the other vote for Falamon was from, yeah, this guy, Duke Gorman the Careless, who I'm guessing is just rather inconveniently passed away while attending to chamber business, which a suspiciously large number of people do, quite frankly. So now we've got... Duke Cathal of Munster, who also expects to actually... You're not bad, you know. You're not bad at all. So you'd make a competent Chancellor, but the Chancellor is actually the King of England right now because there's nothing else he could do. Though, the problem is the King of England sort of hates me, regardless, and also seems to... Hang on. You've not had any... You've not had any children. Oh, hang on. No, you know, you've got one child, but he's a bastard. And you're depressed, and you're 30. If we're very lucky, you might just not have any children. That'd be flipping marvellous. Because then it goes over to your brother, who also kind of hates me, but, like, less. So the big question now is, you haven't voted for anyone yet, have you? No, Duke Cathal needs to cast a vote. Who's he going to vote for? Because who he votes for, that is going to change the course of the flipping empire. So if you wouldn't mind getting on with doing that vote you're supposed to be doing, that would be flipping marvellous because this is important. And flipping Michael Ironside could just drop dead at any moment. In fact, just in case he does, I'm going to have to change my vote here to Delight. Just in case flipping Michelle just drops dead. In fact, Delight does have one vote in Ireland as well. It's possible he could keep Ireland too. Okay, I don't like Delight. He's terrible, but I've got no choice but to vote for him just for the moment. Yes, actually, that moved Delight over to uh, two votes with me as the deciding vote. So for the moment at least, Delight is running everything with the exception of Brittany. Though, go on, I'll put a vote in for him over there too, just to actually see what happens. If anyone backs me, they probably won't. No, Cathal has also put his vote behind this guy. Delight now has uh, three votes. Oh dear. Oh flipping dear. That is... That's pretty much a sure thing in that case. With three votes from Ireland. Uh, yeah, and then my votes. Then the vote of the Duchess from Brittany. And then the vote of the Duke of Leinster. Whoever that kid is exactly. Oh. Sorry, Duke and, yes, Mab, right. So he's voting for his own son, got it. Bit biased there, but fine. Okay. That means the next leader's going to be flipping Tannis Delight of Cornwall, who's currently betrothed to some 
Duchess in Slavonia. I can't remember why I did that, but we might want to break that up, actually. I'm not sure that's necessarily that useful to me. There is one thing we could do, however. Delight. If you want to be king, if you truly want to be king, it's time for you to earn it. So, how about you go on a nice war over to the Holy Land? Yep, yeah, there you go. Commander Delight. I'm going to put you with the flipping army. Oh, yes. That. That's the flipping thing. Lovely. In fact, speaking of commanders, we desperately need a few more. We don't really actually um have any at the minute. Right, Jonas, you're not really doing anything, and you've actually got yourself a cavalry leader trait. Marvellous. Ah, and Ferrero Roche, who has in the past been a commander, but just dropped out of it at some point. Yes, flanker. Good, you can go over and handle that. There we go. Cavalry commander, commanding the majority of our heavy cavalry. Good flanker on one flank. Delight on the other flank, who might just run into a bit of difficulty out in the war. Who can say? Right, first things first. Raise up. Yeah, the actual... Ooh, hang on. The vassal levies have like two, two, three galleys. I've got barely any because I've just not been bothering to improve ports. Yeah, go on then. Let's just actually raise up all of the vassal levies first up. That's perfect. I mean, that's... Wow, that's 7,600 right there. Okay, that's all good. Now, that would get around the problem of the fleets being super expensive if I wasn't bothering to pay for them. And we're in a holy war right now, which I think means that the vassals won't mind so much. Lovely. Oh, and that is just the right amount of capacity as well. 21,100. That should be, I think, just enough to work. Especially with, ah, reinforcements coming in. Spot on. Let's just seal the deal. Ah, and here's a big one. Rhiannon, the new Rio, who is still curious, timid, and trusting, and will hopefully get a very good diplomatic education. Now, if she comes to hate me, honestly, it barely even matters. Because I'm not going to be around for too much longer. Michelle is going to die. Yeah, I'm going to say she deserves greatness. Give her ambitious. She is looking good already, and she's not even received her education yet. Right, 20,000 fighting men of Cornwall. Let's go take part in the biggest crusade like ever. It's going to be amazing. So you guys just head over there. Join up with all the other forces. Oh, the Pope is going to love this. I'm going to contribute so much more than everybody else. And if Delight happens to die under suspicious circumstances, well, wouldn't that be a shame? Oh, and speaking of which, who just flipping died? Was one of my advisors? I think one of my advisors is dead. That's it's kind of a shame because I'm running out of... Ooh, you love me. Congratulations. You can now advise me as a result of that. Ah, problem though. Right now, Delight has lost a vote somewhere in Ireland, and it's all about Falamon. Falamon is going to claim Ireland at this exact moment in time. But the votes for the Empire are so certain I can't not vote for Delight anymore. Unless he were to... Okay, let's just... Let's just have a look. See if anyone might be interested in murdering him. Okay, we've got 13% plot power from the actual Duchess of Brittany. That's of interest. And then 8% from Flan, another 8% from Yunus, another commander. Another 7% from, okay. A handful of Dukes are on board with this. Another 5% there. It's not much. That's another 4%. Another 4%, another 3%. Hmm. That's probably not enough to make it happen. But, if I were to get my spy master involved, and actually, yeah, once he gets back, we could... Is it easy to... Yeah, it's probably better we actually just uh, reassign... Reassign this to somebody else, actually. So, who wants to do this? Ribena! Ribena, you get back on with that. You're better as a commander anyway, quite frankly. Right, now, this guy. Where is he right now? Located in the capital itself. Right. Recall the spy master. It's time to see what we can do here. Because everyone in Ireland is determined to vote for you, but you're not very good. Which kind of means you might need to go down a little bit. So, 
bring the spy master home. Everyone I've invited should be on board here. Let's see what this does to plot power, because we should be able to get this over 75%. But, whether that's going to be enough to actually succeed, and yeah, right now, my spy master is not yet on board. We've got a few more important people, 65, uh, 74... There we go, up to 82, 108. Okay, this is good. Everyone is on board. It's over 100. So, it might take a while, but if we're lucky, we'll be able to kill him. The slight problem is, will we be able to do it before Michelle collapses just of old age? Because, yeah, 70 flipping 2. Also, what the hell, now it's Falamon. Okay, why is it now Falamon? Right, because I think the- Ah, there's a new Duke of Meath. He changed his vote back to Falamon. Okay, change all the votes back to Falamon. I think we probably want to just kill Delight anyway. He's terrible, and he does have two Dukes of Ireland voting for him. Just in case, let's just make sure he goes down regardless. And oh bloody hell, it's another flipping artifact. Oh, go on then. Why not get on with it? And oh. Oh dear, being it. Wait. Why am I at sea? I shouldn't be at sea! Why am I at sea? And why am I suffering from scurvy? I wasn't supposed to be! Uh-oh! That... Why did we take Michelle with us? We weren't supposed to... We haven't taken Michelle... Why are you sick? Why are you suffering from scurvy? You're not actually on the boat! You're... No, you're not! Why are you on the boat? Yes, one fleet... One army, and he's not- Okay, I'm just going to tell him he's not allowed to lead armies, so he comes back flipping home, but oh, flip, we've now got a 72-year-old who's suffering from scurvy. Oh, that's no good at all. This crusade thing turns out to be a flipping terrible idea. Okay, but on the plus side, my doctor's recommended eating a lot of fruit and vegetables. Now that, that actually strikes me as a very good treatment. Very, very good treatment, in fact. Don't have a marsh anymore, though. I think the old marshal died or something. Right, who wants to be a marshal? Who feels like they, like, you know, should be a marshal? And who's actually, like, you know, hating me? Minus 60. Let's just get you on the council. Beautiful. So, right now we've got ourselves, yeah, a war score of just 0%. So, no major engagement has occurred yet. I don't know where the armies of this guy are. We don't have great visit. Ah, there we go. There's 17,000. All right. So, you guys, uh, bring yourselves ashore over here. Join up with this force, please. Because together, we should actually have the power to do this. And... Okay, good. Good, good, good. And... Door hinge? Okay, that's weird, but whatever. Uh, when are we going ashore? I don't know exactly... But it's fine. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. That's lovely. Now, who's actually here, by the way? Who are all the forces? And which one do I want to actually follow? Because the biggest force present here would appear to be Scotland. So I'll just hold still for a moment to so figure out where Scotland are actually planning to go. But with, yeah, a combined force of... Oh no, a lot of people are heading north. Okay. I'm going to go and join Scotland. I think I'm just going to hang out with Scotland. Me and Scotland together... Have a lot of power. So me and Scotland together should be able to handle this. Hopefully. There we go. Attached to Mayor Paul of Scotland. So now we will follow him around. Uh, and that will hopefully be very, very good indeed. So this place should go down pretty quickly. But I am worried about supply. I am a little worried about supply right now. And also, excuse me. Would you mind just like, you know, getting back in line with everybody else? Because we could do with your forces being like, you know, with the rest of the flipping army. There's, oh, there's 13,000 up there. Maybe I should go and hang out with that. Because right now I'm just... Okay, hang on. What happened to... What happened to Paul? Hang on. Oh, there's a bloody cow. Yeah, the big forces are all up here. I should definitely be heading in this direction and joining up with these guys. But I may as well just clear out this small area first. I don't know why you guys are coming. Are you coming to, to join me? Because if you are, that would be flipping marvellous. Here we go. We're starting to win a handful of sieges here. What are you guys doing? I'm just going to actually move you over to here. Join up with this force. All right, these two forces together. A good 38,000 troops. That should be able to handle anything they can throw at us. Oh, yeah. Now, now we're starting to make some progress. Fast progress, in fact. I think this area was... Oh, yeah. Someone had already sieged this area recently. Ooh, who's been found that's like a heretic? Are you important? 
No, we're going to burn you then. Bye. Ah, uh, yes, and Prince Delight and this random woman. Um, yeah, go on then. Sure, she's fine. You two can get married. No problem there, I guess. And a slight warning's appeared at the top. Yeah, so Middlesex has been brought into England, but the actual guy, his current heir right now, is the Earl of Surrey. So would actually leave straight back over into Kent. But that's fine. He's 16, his wife's 31. They'll probably be able to have a child in the meantime. It's not a problem. Oh, I should probably, like, break down these boats, by the way. Yeah, I should totally bring these boats home and then break them down. Oh, but watch out, though. That new Duke Cathal, he's trying to fabricate a claim on Ireland. Which is... Hmm. Not great, but I'm not willing to take action over that immediately. It's not that big a deal. Ah, we've got the gardening event. Good. Good, good, good. Go and visit the garden. The garden is good stuff. And also just keep heading around here and do actually just check. Make sure I know exactly where the flipping Kingdom of Jerusalem is. Here we go. This is all Kingdom of Jerusalem, apparently. Marvellous. So in which case, you guys move over here. Help out with this siege right over here. We'll just slowly siege it all down. It'll be lovely. Still no sign of the... The main enemy army, though. I think they might have kicked the ass of these guys up here. But we haven't seen the majority of them. And yeah, go for 60% chance of green fingers. If we're lucky. And no, dirty hands, not green fingers. That's a shame. Yeah, that's 3,000. But it's not much, really. Not much at all. We're good for the time being. Oh, I need to be a bit careful, by the way. Yeah, we're suffering from... um. Quite heavy attrition right now just because of local supply limits. Yeah, I've brought, um, maybe a few too many men to this here war. Still, on the plus side, looks like we've got ourselves... Yeah, there's going to be a fight over here, which the forces of everybody, including the Pope, will do very, very well in. Yeah, this here should be... I'm down to 13,000. Okay, plan. I should actually break this army in two. Shouldn't I? Yes, yes I should. Uh, so you guys, now just move somewhere else please. Yes, you guys come over here. I need you to be in different areas so you're not massively over the supply limit. Now the slightly awkward question is, if we take over all of this, how exactly are we going to- Oh, my spy master's in an alliance with the duke who's plotting to take over Ireland while all my forces are away. That's... that concerns me a little bit, actually. Yeah, if we take over all this territory, does that automatically get us to 100%? Because we can't proceed to the rest of this because, you know, we're not at war with the Byzantines right now. Oh, bloody hell, it's back to Delight. Who changed their cocking vote now? Okay, all votes back to Delight. At this point, it's a race. What happens first? Do we successfully assassinate Delight? Or does Michelle Ironside just drop dead from, you know, being really cocking old? Oh, and young Rio. Oh, come on, young Rio. Level three. Charismatic. All right. She is... She's good. She is very, very good indeed, little Rio. Though despite that, we can still barely find a husband for her outside of our own realm. Tragically. It's okay, Rio. I'll find something good for you to do. I promise. You're very, very good. Different Michelle, by the way. Obviously, that's not my daughter. That is uh, someone else called Michelle's daughter. But I am, yes, mildly concerned that what seems to be going on right now is um, the entire rest of the crusading army has just naffed off to... Oh! That'd be why. It's because Rome is currently actually being partially occupied. Yes! So the Holy See has indeed actually been taken. That, that does make sense. Yes, so those guys are going home to deal with that. That's, that's fine. That's 100% fine. By the way, uh, break down these boats if you'd be so kind. No special events, that's fine. Okay, fascinating. So, some of the army, actually a fairly big part of it, is just basically naffed off forever. Which kind of works for me, because that means, yeah, we can actually just pick off some remnants, keep mopping up over here. This should work just fine, and... Uh-oh. Okay, when you say during the transfer of power, what transfer of power? The new golden sword that Michelle Kernel received was destroyed because they already had one. Wait, what? What's... What's happening here? Why is all my stuff being destroyed? In addition, 
Why exactly do I have a cursed flipping ring? Because apparently I've got a ring that gives me stewardship plus four, prestige up, national tax modifier a huge amount, but health minus one. Which is very, very good indeed. I just find it a little bit on the odd side. Hang on, they need to be equipped to notify their bonuses. Can't equip. Okay, I've got a cursed ring that I physically can't put on for some reason. This is all slightly odd. There we go, we got ourselves a victory over here. Now, mop up both of these two armies if you'd be so kind. You guys, not you though, you stay exactly where you are. You, come down here and... Are these guys on my side or not? Uh-oh. Okay, trying to kill my son, Budic. Honestly, they can have him. He's not that important. It's fine. Meanwhile, my spy mistress has decided to actually declare a war to try and revoke. Yeah, a little bit of land of Count Cadot II of Kurnev. Honestly, again, not really my business. He is kind of a pox-riddled lunatic. So, yeah, go nuts. Have fun. Now, these 5,000 men can easily clear out these 1,000, which should give us a bit of a boost to the old war score. So that's absolutely nice and easy. And over here, we continue to just siege down this province as well. Beautiful. See those bastards off, then head back over here. Job done. And yes, I will spend time training my dogs. I'm pretty sure there's health in that, which might just keep me alive long enough to figure out what I want to do with the flipping succession. Oh, and I think England's got plans for, yeah, taking over more parts of Essex and whatnot over here. No problem at all. What's going on down in these parts of the world, by the way? Nothing major. We are just, yes, continuing to siege down a whole bunch of holdings in this part of the world. Lovely. Now, how's Operation Stop These Guys Taking Over Rome going? Because somebody's still attacking something around here. These are, I don't know who you are or where you came from, but oh, there's a... Uh, there's a lot of trouble going on around here. Right, apparently Sicily's got caught in some other war. And, uh, hello, we've got, wait, who's this guy? Who's, who's this guy and why is he here? Oh, I think we might have captured this guy during the war. Okay, great. I think I might have just converted him to Christianity. Oh, my plot to kill delights. Um, small problem. He's now changed flipping courts. So that has dropped straight back down to basically no chance. Okay. No, 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 no. Because somebody, possibly like the court physician or something, is very much still on site. Okay, we can still fix this. We can fix this. All right, just tell me where he bloody is. There we go. This area. Right, redeploy the spy master again. There we go. That's up to 53% already. And some people are on board with this. So, invite you, bribe everyone else. Okay, 53 is a starting point. And up to 60. I think we should be able to nudge that, if not quite to 100, very close to 100. 88. Two more to go. 92. How much are you bringing to bed? Over 75%. Come on, just knock that over. 99.1. It's very annoying. Right, everything's under control, and we've also got another 4,000 men from the papacy here. But if a major army does... Oh, hang on. There's... Yep, yeah, 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 that's fine. I'll go over to a monastery and do some, like, quiet contemplation. There's 4,000 men up here. If they march down south, they could represent a bit of a problem, and... Okay, you know what? I guess I can't blame you for the fact that you're trying to kill me right back again. Yes. Right, Michelle, into hiding with you. It's fine. And my spy mistress says, ah, I'm in hiding. So technically we're in regency rights now. This is fine. We're in hiding. Everything's okay. Don't worry about the domain. It's all fine. Everything's okay. These guys move over to here. We're going to win this cocking crusade, okay? All we need to do is, yes, yeah, someone needs to come over here and kick the ass of... Hello. What just... Oh. 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 I think we just did it. I think they surrendered. I think they just flipping surrendered. Oh, yes. Also, I've been at, like, the monastery for a few days or whatever. I don't care. I don't actually care about that anymore. That's, that's fine. Also, people told me I need to actually look at, like, what this guy wants. So, what are you good at? You're good at learning. Yeah, discuss the Bible. Let's discuss the Bible because you're, like, good at learning. Okay. 
So, we've got ourselves a new bit of Cornwall abroad right now. And, uh, oh, hang on. I may have just created, oh, bloody hell, I've got a lot of titles. Yes, I may have just created some <laughs> slight, slight issues for myself. Just let time pass, and then we can just break down these troops. That'll, that'll save a bit of time. And, yes, stand those guys down. Retinue are allowed to just hang out right here. Okay. One, do I have any prisoners right now? If so, they can literally all go home. Oh, except the ones I can ransom. Any of the ones I can ransom, ransom them. So, the bigger deal that we've got here. What exactly is the situation in this part of the world? Yeah, break this down for me a little bit. So, this here is... Okay, it doesn't break down at all. These are just territories that are... Hang on, yeah, the, the county of this, the county of that, the county of the other. Right. How exactly does this equal, like, 29? That feels too much. Kingdom of Jerusalem. Now... What are the rules of the Kingdom of Jerusalem? Oh, that's Tanistry as well. Okay. Who would like to be the King of Jerusalem? Because honestly, I'm happy for it to be someone who's not me. Oh, it's because I hold all the flipping baronies as well. Oh, bloody hell. Right, so I need to find basically, yeah, things to sort out all the baronies too. I need to find like crappy little barons. Okay, I think there's a special event for this, isn't there? Where I can just basically say, oh, hang on, vassalize the Knights Templar. Okay, that's, that's interesting. I'm not sure why I'd actually want to do that. I mean, what does that do? I don't know, maybe don't do it right now because I'm, maybe I'm losing a lot of money, I'm not sure. Ask for help managing the titles. Yes, I can ask the, oh, the Chancellor. The Chancellor is the King of England. Like, I'm not sure I want to... No. No, I... Okay, you know what? This guy already hates me. I'm going to appoint a new, better Chancellor. Okay. And then they are going to help me with this. In fact, actually... Ooh. Rhiannon! Re-flipping Annan. Why do you hate me? Oh, rivalry. Right, well, congratulations. You are now the new Chancellor. Okay, and you are going to be in control of just handing out all of this land because I can't be arsed with it. So have fun doing that. There we flipping go. Get on with that. Thank you. Right, so all of that will now take care of itself while I continue to just let these people go one by one. Okay, I think I've released all of the prisoners from the Holy War. This is all good stuff. Now, I'm going to assume that the Pope likes me. Plus 12. I literally just won a flipping crusade for you, you bastard. Also, should I be concerned that Rio just went missing? I think possibly someone didn't approve of what I just did. Like, you know, appointing her as Chancellor. Oh no, she's not dead. She just decided to leave to go and get married. Okay, that's fine. Who did she marry? She married... Right, so hang on. She gave away... She gave away three territories, then one of the people she gave it away to, she fell in love with and married, and she now lives over there. You know what? Fair enough. That's a happy ending for you, I suppose. Right, Oncom, you get on with the exact same task I just gave the last person, by the way. Oh, I can't anymore. Oh, great. So she just basically failed to do that, and now no one can do it again. Marvellous. Hang on, I just gave Arnold another job, and... Wait, hang on. Which... Which council position? Oh, he was one of my flipping advisors. Right, I just keep sending my own flipping council away. Right, anybody who wants a bit of land in the Middle East, it's so up for grabs right now. How would you fancy some of this? Here, have some of this. What even is this? This is that. You know what? You can have some of that. You can actually have, like, the lower titles too. You deal with it. I can't be bothered. Ooh, Eunice, you basically just won that crusade. So, yeah, you get a proper full-on thing. There you go. Lovely. Okay, I think I've managed to get rid of everything, with the exception of a bunch of flipping random baronies. Right, apparently, I own some random baronies dotted around in, like, Byzantine territory, for some reason. And I have no way of actually just giving them away. Okay, um, this is kind of awkward. I can't just return it to this guy. Can't destroy it, either. Right. How do I get rid of these? Because I think I just got rid of one. Where's the, like, make new vassal button or something? Because that's, that's somewhere. 
Here we go. Right, just create a new vassal. Just get a local to come and do it or something. I've no interest in it. Also, apparently I've just picked up this place. How have I picked up this place? I don't know. Just, yep, yeah, create a new vassal. That's good. That's... How long have I had that? Because now I'm down to 8 out of 8. Which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Hang on, what? Oh yes, of course. And the 8th is um, the Barony of Uslas, which I want to keep because it's worth a lot of actual uh, troops. Okay, so now we've got ourselves an overseas area, which is, which is fine. And presumably, there's now going to be... Oh, there's going to be a... Okay. Everybody votes, because all of you presumably get... No, wait, hang on. How many people do get a vote here? The vote will come... Yeah, this is king, so... Oh. Okay, so... Oh, it's Meriadoc! <laughs> Go on, everyone vote for whoever you bloody well choose. If Meriadoc wants to be the king of Jerusalem, he's more than welcome to take care of it. It's... Oh, there's the 17,000. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's going to cause trouble at some point. Do you guys have, like, a proper claim against me? By the way, like this whole area. Let's just de jure this a little bit. So, that's that. Okay. And that's that. Okay. And that's... Right, but there's no Arabian Empire. I'm not sure you've got the actual right to attack me. And... Excuse me. Ju... Whoever your name is. No, 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 no. You need to naff off. Okay. Get in... Can I make you... I can't actually put you in prison. But I'm not having you take advantage of the peasants. That's not cool. Right. Jonas, welcome aboard. You can be the new marshal. Now, just one flipping second here. Revolt risk. Where's that? Yeah, in Cornwall. Right, you. Uh, put that down, if you'd be so kind. Thank you. And King Joy of England, meanwhile, is just getting on with business back in England. Uh, he's managed to actually take the... Oh, he's taken the county of Bedford. He's very, very slowly actually successfully rebuilding England up. Well flippin' done. Now, my new Chancellor, who's actually pretty good at her job. Head up to Scotland. Let's see if we can get ourselves a ridiculous, totally false claim on Scotland. That... That'd be nice. Oh, we can probably come out of hiding now, yes. Come out of... Oh, wait, hang on. We probably shouldn't come out of hiding. Because the whole who can assassinate who first thing, that is still going on. Right, Regency ends. That's all absolutely fine. There's, oh, bloody hell, there's, there's a lot of new messages pertaining to the end of the war and releasing prisoners, yes. Oh, and a lot of people migrating off to the Middle East as well. Fine, makes sense. Now, my spy mistress takes the county, unsurprisingly, but we appear to have a problem, which is, um, oh, right. We've got some dangerous factions, apparently. Strength of... Strength of 9,000. Okay. So, the dangerous faction is... King Joy for Cornwall. Oh, dear. That's... That's a concern. Right, so King Joy himself... And the Duke of Leinster... Are on board with that business. And King Joy is... Yeah, King Joy does not like me. Uh, tyranny, wants to control the Duchy of Mercia, title claimant, all of that business. It's kind of a shame we can't have- oh no, it's not kind of a shame, he does have zero stewardship. I mean, just in theory, no one's voting for you for the Empire, right? Well, technically you're trying to- no, you're not trying to take the Empire, you're just trying to take the Kingdom of Cornwall. I think, anyway. You know, I should probably bring the retinues home just in case here. That's probably a good idea. There we go. There's enough boats here for me to actually, yeah, ship the retinue back home. If there's going to be trouble with England, I'd rather have the retinue back home, to be honest. And yes, I'm aware of the dangerous faction. And I've got... Oh, I picked up Diligent from Training the Dog. Good, 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 good. Ah, and are we good to actually move nobles back over to a military footing? Apparently a whole bunch of people would vote yes. Which is marvellously good. Okay. You guys are... Oh. It's because I've packed my council with all the people I just gave land to. So I can basically do whatever the hell I bloody well want at the minute. So yes. Actually, I would say that the nobles will be providing me with additional troops. Thank you very, very much indeed. And the retinue can just get on the boat. And the boat can take them home. Spot on. There we go. That's the law I wanted passing. Beautiful. 
I can pretty much choose who I want to be the king of Jerusalem, by the way. Yeah. So, yeah, you know what? I'm going to vote for Merry Adopt too. Because once upon a time, I think very, very briefly, he was actually going to be the Tannist. So, go on then. You can be the king of Jerusalem. Why not? Honestly, I don't want the job. It seems to end badly for everyone who does it. It's like defense against the dark arts teacher. And I can finally actually level up in the society. Sure, slow going because I don't really have any virtues. But it'll speed up a little bit now I've got diligence. So that's good. And Merry Adog just immediately died. Okay, it was natural. It's fine. Um, who's going to be the next king of Jerusalem? Given that guy didn't work out. Oh, it's Falamon. Good. I'm kind of glad that he actually gets something out of all of this. That's lovely. And we've got ourselves... Yeah, we're still just searching for an artifact. I've heard that, but... Oh, bloody hell, what? What have you just done? Oh, are you attacking... They're attacking Leinster. Right. So he wants to get hold of a bit of Leinster, does he? Okay. England's getting a bit big for its boots, to be perfectly honest. I'm a bit concerned about England's expansion. That is... Oh... Gavelkind? Wait, Gavelkind succession? You want Gavelkind in Jerusalem? I mean, I guess you can, I suppose. Meanwhile, my spy mistress wants to... No, not a favour. No, 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 no. Sorry. I'm not having that. You're not having a favour over me. Favours can end very badly. Right, Gavelkind succession in Jerusalem is a thing now. Interesting. Still, on the plus side, England is currently beating up Leinster, and Leinster is pretty much the only guy that was willing to actually back you to try and make you the King of Cornwall. So, you've just screwed over your only friend, so thanks, I guess. And having successfully built a war chest, only one thing I can try and do, make the realm prosper. Yeah, go on then. I shall make the realm prosper. No wars for five years. Um, yeah, no promises on that one. Uh-oh. I've got an invitation to go and have a drink. Now, admittedly, it's over in Karak, which is it's quite a long way to go for a drink. Now, you are carousing. You do seem to like me. You are... No, 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 no. He's possessed by Satan and paranoid. No, naff off. I'm not coming. You're just going to kill me or something. Oh, meanwhile, exactly what I was hoping would happen in the Holy Roman Empire has indeed come to pass. We've got ourselves a, a brand new King of Bohemia. And the brand new King of Bohemia is ambitious and absolutely flipping despises the Emperor. Good, 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 good. This is spot on. Absolutely flipping spot on. Oh yeah, the new Emperor is despised by the Duchess of Normandy, the Duke of Burgundy, everybody, actually, because he decided to be a tyrant. Whatever he did, there's a good... Oh, he's flippin' excommunicated as well. Oh, oh, you are going to be in a lot of trouble, aren't you? Yes. Though, on the other hand, you do seem to have... I'm not quite sure how, but you do seem to have all of a sudden 60,000 troops... Right, where do they- Oh, bloody hell, you ate Leon. That's... Alright. Maybe you're in a bit of trouble. But also, you're doing quite well. Quite well, actually. Yes, getting a little, little bit scared of the Holy Roman Empire there. Slightly larger than I'd like. Could do with a great big war versus the Byzantines. That'd be spot on. Yeah, we should definitely rejoin that defensive pact. That's... That's definitely a good idea right there. Let's get back in that defensive pact against him. Oh, and here's the great surprise of all. The artifact search actually found an artifact. Okay, I am going to give you a big pile of money. Because I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. We've just got a head of a saint. Okay, that's cool. Is it in my treasury? Oh, it is. I've got a saint head. That's lovely. It's not worth much. Actually, you know what? Plus one learning. That's good. That's very, very nice indeed. The monthly prestige is pretty much tiny, but that's very, very cool. I approve of that. Oh, quick Mongol update, by the way. They're definitely expanding a little bit. They've eaten a bit of Hungary, I think, but they do seem to have slowed down just for the moment. 
Oh, and thanks to the fact I helped out the Pope, the Pope's willing to do me a nice favour as well. I could get rid of Dynastic Kinslayer. Yeah, go on then. Lose some piety, lose some gold, get on your knees and say some prayers or whatever. Marvellous. So that should make me... Yeah, a lot more diplomatic than I used to be. Beautiful. And try the roasting again. Get Gardener. Gardener's good. Bloody hell, dirty hands again. Bad luck with that event. You know, one thing I could do... Prague is where the new King of Bohemia is. So how about my new lovely Chancellor sow a bit of dissent? So vassal liege opinion lowered. Local nobles in there. Hmm, local nobles and their lieges. Okay, so that would... Are you a local? I've never been quite sure which way round that works, whether it goes downwards or upwards. It's kind of awkwardly phrased. You know what, just for safety, Head over here and start sowing some dissent right in the middle of the Holy Roman Empire. Go on then. Right, just spend a whole bunch more money on some upgrades to all my castle towns and... Peasants of Glamorgan, far apart spread out. Yes indeed, I will spend money sorting out messenger stations. Spot on, that sounds fun. And very frustratingly, we do actually have the ability to summon someone who's got a claim on Scotland to our court. Unfortunately, yeah... The young king has literally just come of age. That is no flipping good at all. I've just had a really terrible idea, ladies and gentlemen. Which is, uh, I can't help but notice, over on the Empire, King Joy has managed to get himself two votes. One of the Dukes of Ireland is behind King Joy. Now, King Joy is not particularly good. In fact, it's fair to say... He's pretty terrible. However, having England under my direct control for a bit so I can just fiddle with them, get myself set up, maybe change it over, something a bit more interesting, like tanistry rather than primogeniture. Yeah, okay, that might be worth putting up with this guy just for a short while. Because I could get him as, yeah, get him as emperor. Obviously I could, no, I can't force him to be king of Jerusalem, but obviously I can make him... The actual King of uh, Wales, that's fine. King of Ireland, no chance. King of Brittany... Actually, he's got one vote. Possibly if I change my vote, maybe. Maybe. The bare minimum, he could have England and Wales. That could be... That could be of interest. Right, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I'd say that's enough for now, but... I have got plenty to think about here. Emperor Michelle Ironside has lived far flipping longer... <laughs> I don't think he's got any flipping right to, but he's 77 now on the picture of health. So he's living longer than plenty of people do in our current age under 13th century medicine. So well done, Michelle, quite frankly. I need to have a think about whether I'd be able to stand actually having, yeah, joy as the emperor. Just briefly, just flipping briefly, just while I sort out England a little bit. That would be could be very much of interest. Right, I'll have a think about that. We'll be back with more very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Crusader Kings 2. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, did people just vote out democracy? Hang on, what have you just done? Oh, go on, let's have the greatest Oktoberfest ever. Yay! Spain and Russia announced a new alliance as a result of the warmongering of certain Central European countries. Oh, well, excuse me! My leader from now on, no weaklings will stand in the way of this country's path to glory. Oh god, Germany, not again!